from the Library of Congress in Washington, D.C. Now tonight our guest is my favorite coconut, the delightful Imogene who always brightens up the week. And tonight Miss Coca plays my wife Emily, and the type of wife that I'm sure some of you are familiar with. She's loving, warm, solicitous, with only one fault. She's a health nut, and she practices medicine without a license. Now, I play her husband, Harry, you see, and in a minute, you'll see what happens when my wife, Emily, balloons a minor symptom into the Black Plague. <laughs> Up for today. Thank you, Royal Canadian Air Force. <laughs> Ooh, it feels good. Harry, you're gonna be late for work. Breakfast is ready. Uh, good morning, honey dear. How are you? I'm glad to see you. Harry? Dear. Yes, dear. Hit me in the stomach. <laughs> <laughs> I beg your pardon? Go on, hit me in the stomach. Boy, did your mother come to visit? <laughs> You smashed a new car? Your mother smashed a new car. Well. Please hit me in the stomach with all your might. I can take it, hon. I've been using my exercise book. Oh, Emily, I can't do that. What's the matter with you? Harry, come on now. Hit me in the stomach. All right, you asked for it. <laughs> there. Maybe we can get down to some breakfast now. <laughs> oh. Honey, you sure did get tough. How'd you get like that? I told you I've been using my exercise book. <laughs> you had to go and buy the hard cover, huh? You know, your fist is getting flabby. You flabby? are not taking good care of yourself. Oh, yes, I am, honey. I never felt better in my whole life. Oh, I wouldn't go so far as to say that. You should have seen yourself in your sleep last night. You were tossing and turning and singing and dancing and whistling. I was? Mm -hmm. Well, do you want to know why? Well, you see, I have a very important meeting today with Mr. Summers. Mr. Summers, our boss, is taking me to meet Mr. Summers, who was his nephew. And we're going to be at the airport, and I wanted to make sure that I, you know, was all right for this meeting. He is our company's biggest customer. <laughs> You're getting so important. Oh, oh, isn't that? And that's why I was I'm so, so late. proud of you. Oh, thank you, dear. <laughs> That's why I was so late, you know, I, I, up, up so late last night, because I wanted to make sure that I had every single detail right at my fingertips. What was that? What was what? You sniffled. No, I didn't. Emily, 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 look. Emily, there's not up, the least thing the matter with me, Emily, and you're not a doctor anyway, and since you don't know anything about medicine, would you... <laughs> oh! I'm not denying. I don't. I'm not denying. And so I, 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 you nasty germs! <laughs> Emily, do you realize what you've given me here? You've given me a... a, a, a I don't, you know what you've got here? You've got a healthy vite, a daily vite, a multivite, a mini vite, an omnivite, a vite, a vite, a Horace height, a Conrad vite, go fly a kite, and good night, I'm going to work. <laughs> Emily? Emily, I'm not sick, and I'm not taking any pills, Emily. Very well. Use the trash can method. The what? The trash can method. You step on the pedal and open the lid, like this. Oh! Honey, honey, please. Look, honey, the boss is just, expecting just me relax. to go to work now, there. There, there. Doesn't oh, that feel better? Oh, 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 Doesn't that em, feel em, better? Emily, em, Emily, down, em, I have em, the best remedy Emily, in the world I don't want any remedies. I, 
best remedy in the world, darling. Is that another one of your wonder drugs, dear? I don't no, want baby, it. I don't, I've got to get to work. Shh, shh, sit down. Emily, I've got... Here's some hot tea, baby. And a little brandy. <laughs> brandy at 8 o'clock in the morning? <laughs> Germs do not wear wristwatches. They don't. Huh? I want you to feel better. That's what I want. Wow. Now, we'll have a touch of brandy. <laughs> well, okay, if it'll make you happy, I'll do it, all right? Okay, I feel all better, and now I'm gonna go. You sit down, we're going to sweat this cold out. <laughs> Emily, I don't want any more medicine. Do you want to play trash can again? I don't think so. <laughs> <laughs> Open the tunnel, and in goes the train. <laughs> Duty calls, and I've got to get to the office. So I'm going to just fix my little. I'm going to fix. I'm going to. I'm just going to. Oh, I feel great, Emily. I, 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 I don't care if I did have a sniffle. I, I'm going to. I'm, I'm going to have some more medicine. That's right. Here's your newspaper, darling. You just sit down, make yourself comfortable, and relax. I certainly will. I'm going to go in the kitchen and make you some hot soup. We have to keep you full of liquids. Well, I certainly believe that. I better keep them liquids coming, Emily. Hot soup coming up. up. Yes, sir. <laughs> if her soup is anything like her tea, we're going to be arrested. <laughs> <laughs> And I'll, I'll see what the Yankees did in the first one. But made any trades in the paper? Because I, I, I bought it. It's got the sports page. I come in a financial section. That's what I have to look for. Because I, I got better have a little medicine. Because I'm <laughs> <laughs> certainly makes you stick together, boy. <laughs> well, that's uh... Emily, what did you do with the newspaper, Emily? <laughs> I can't find a newspaper anywhere around here. No matter if it's such a mess, be a mess under here, and a newspaper. You never can find a newspaper when you want it. Said, I got a first. <laughs> I'm for a little thing. Yes, sir. <laughs> to Taza, son of Cochise, <laughs> and modern science. <laughs> Boy, if Baldy has left little off and landed again, I'm going to belt him one. I have to go all the way to the master bedroom now to send the man at home. I'm, I'm, I'm going to the bedroom. That's the bedroom over there. That's where I'm going to go. I'm going to go to the bedroom. I'm, I'm going to get, I'm going to get to the bedroom. Well, if you have to go to the bedroom, why don't you go to the bedroom? <laughs> I'm sorry, but just in there, I was in the bedroom. Huh? <laughs> 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 Thank goodness, Mrs. Whitmer. Harry isn't going to go to work today. You see, as I was driving down to work, it occurred to me that Harry lives right near the airport. So rather than have him go all the way down to the office, I thought we'd go to the plane from here. Well, he has Whitner. a very bad cold. He isn't going to go to the airport. Are you coming? Whitner! 
Come on, Minuri. Hello, hello, sweetheart. <laughs> I was just in the bedroom looking for the most out of I got to say about it. What? Whitner, what's the meaning of this? What is it? Oh, 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 it's it's what? Well, now, you better sit, you better sit down and you take your medicine. What's going on here? Yeah, because Emily, 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 Emily has a degree from the Reader's Digest. <laughs> we better get on. Well, now, you better check them. You better check them. Did you ever use the ash trash napkin can method? What are you talking about, Whitner? Well, that's the same way she gets with the ash trash can method. Stop it. We better get to the airport. Well, I tell you, she's going to die. Ta! Ah! Hey, not bad. That's I'm pretty good, huh? Hello! Say, this is fun! <laughs> There's a man with me! This has been a presentation of the Library of Congress. Visit us at loc.gov.